Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Or should I say welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This was actually one of the original games I used on the channel, one of the games I played the most. And uh, this was the game that started this as an educational channel more so than anything else. In today's video I wanted to talk about KRPC, a tool that I actually would highly recommend you use. And the tool that I'm thinking of using this summer to teach you a little bit of programming. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. So, a few years ago, I made a video about KOS. Um, KOS, if you don't actually know what that is, let me actually show you the website for it, is Kerbal Operating System. It's basically kind of a language that someone developed uh, that allowed you to uh, use Kerbal Space Program to make these scripts and automate pretty much everything. You could uh, do takeoffs, you could do landings, you could uh, put yourself in orbit, you could even land on the moon. Uh, but uh, it was a language that was only used in the Kerbal Space Program and that created a few challenges. Like for example, if you discovered a bug, it was hard to kind of fix it. On the other hand, I, I always wanted to try to find a way to basically integrate my knowledge of programming into KSP. And just so it happens, there is a tool that I only discovered maybe a few months ago. It's a tool known as KRPC. Uh, which stands for Kerbal Remote Program Call, I guess, or something like that. What this allows you to do is use the languages that you might already know, or help you learn language that you want to learn, I'm talking about programming languages, and then transfer it to KSP and basically automate everything. So you can use C Sharp, you can use C++, Java, Lua, Py Python, uh, Ruby, and Haskell, but we're going to be using Python. And uh, today I actually wanna show you how to install all of this and how to use all of this and introduce the um, idea of using uh, scripts and using programming to basically play KSP completely remotely. So we're going to go into the game and uh, start our first programming experience in KSP. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I already have it installed. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install it. And basically all you have to do is, well, first of all, download KRPC and install it on your computer. One of the easiest ways is to use what's known as CCAN, which is the uh, mod installation utility. This is under github.com slash ksp-ccan, that is. And um, get this file if you're on Windows and uh, or this if you're on Mac and just run it and it will allow you to install KRPC. You also need to install Python and I usually highly recommend using this and a content navigator. This is a sort of a, a package that includes everything. We're going to be using Jupyter Notebook. And um, here, if you go into environments, click on this, open terminal, and in the terminal type uh, pip install krpc, it will install the library that you need to play this in Kerbal Space Program. That's really all there is to it. I already have it, so it will basically say you don't have to install anything. Um, then close this and you can actually jump into uh, your Kerbal Space Program and you're going to see this little box here. It's going to say um, start server. We're going to click on this and right away it actually starts running the server on your computer at, uh, on the port 5000. Now, here's the cool part about this is that you can actually use this remotely. Uh, from what I understand, you can actually connect from outside of your computer, basically from your smartphone while you're on the bus or something, and then launch these scripts of let's say a mission that's already in progress. So let's say you're, uh, you have some sort of a transfer mission from Jewel to um, Duna and you kind of are waiting for this window of opportunity, meanwhile writing a script on the bus and then you can actually just have this launch the script remotely while you're away from your computer. Absolutely brilliant. We're gonna use this really simple vehicle I built to try to launch this. I'm gonna show you how the script works uh, and actually so yeah, this is the vehicle. Just one stage here, or actually two stages, sorry. Uh, these boosters will separate, this will continue up. And then there is actually another way we can separate here later. Uh, the KRPC documentation, the tutorial here, actually explains everything really well. I'm gonna show you some of the commands here. And the way it works is usually very, uh, very simple. So you import the library first, you then uh, connect to your server, and then you activate your vessel. So these three lines you'll always have. Uh, here I can actually uh, use vessel.flight command, so this command right here, to uh, connect it to a variable called flight info. And then I can call this variable right here with a command called uh, mean altitude. And this will actually bring up the altitude you'll see in a second. And I can also use another command um, 
it's actually pretty long uh, that will display our uh, location on Kerbin. So here I'm going to run it and in a second or so it will return my altitude and my position. So 75 meters or 76 meters and this is our, uh, I think this is X, Y, Z, I believe. I don't actually remember, but this will allow you to basically pinpoint specific location on Kerbin or really any other planet. You can choose the uh, body and change the body uh, as you wish. This is uh, a really good tutorial right here that shows you how to do it. We're, we're going to go into this in a little bit more detail later on, but for now, let's actually just do the following. Let's let's take this, so we're gonna basically do this, and um, just do one more, uh, one thing, one simple thing. We're going to automate our launch, and we're going to go straight up, and then we're gonna separate our boosters, and keep going up, and then separate the last part, and then release the parachutes. That's really all I wanna do. Now, all of this is actually from the tutorial you can find um, on the KRPC website, but I'm just going to explain to you the commands here. So, the first command, vessel dot, that's basically how you start the command. And remember, vessel is a variable that we assign right here. It's the active vessel. We'll um, basically engage the autopilot and then target the autopilot toward 90, 90. So, this is uh, up and this is east. So, in other words, it's going to be pointing up but also east. So if you want to start doing gravity turn afterwards, you just have to start decreasing this number. We then are going to engage the autopilot uh, with this command. Uh, the third line here uh, sets our throttle all the way to the max. This can be from zero to one. And then we're going to just wait a little bit. So we have to actually import the time library. We're going to wait one second before we actually launch. And so the next step is going to be to print launch right here and then activate the stage. So this should actually take off our craft and we're going to uh, launch this and jump into the game. And there it goes. Hands off. Basically, it's doing it by itself. Now, right now, it's going to keep flying. Oh, and by the way, I've already connected several times. As you can see, there's all the connections are displayed here. Uh, right now, it's going to keep going up, but it's not going to do anything once the fuel has exhausted. But you can actually start adding commands to it as you go. As a matter of fact, you don't have to write a long script. You can basically add to it as you progress. So I can now jump back into my script and uh, basically add another thing here that will set the throttle to zero and then stage the craft. And there we go. So that just initiated the next stage. Uh, we didn't get to, get to see it, but I believe, I believe, where, where, where are they? Uh, oh, they're, they're there. They are the boosters. So they actually flew away because they still had some fuel left. Um, and if you want to basically activate uh, the other stage, let's set this back to one. And uh, let's actually, let's turn a little bit. We're going to put this right here. Oh, here comes the space music. Uh, we're going to turn zero degrees and uh, maybe wait a little bit. Time sleep. Two seconds. And time sleep. Two seconds as well. And then activate the last stage. So here we go. Just so, just so we can actually see it. So it starts turning activates the engine and starts moving sideways. Beautiful. So now we're basically initiated a very, very awkward, very strange uh, gravity turn. Uh, so you can see the orbit is increasing here and we're getting quite a lot of speed, but um, we don't want to go too fast. So we might actually have to stop our engines manually soon. Uh, but this is essentially how you can totally automate everything. And you can, there's a lot of commands you can use in here. As a matter of fact, all of them are listed under KRPC documentation under Python. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can learn from this by doing it this way. And you can actually start learning Python by playing through the game. And it's actually absolutely awesome. Um, I'm going to hopefully uh, create a little stream that I actually been meaning to start for, for a while where I want to teach you a little bit about Python by using Kerbal Space Program and uh, we'll actually make our own commands as well. All right, looks like I'm out of fuel now. I'm moving at a speed of 2800 meters per second and yep, we are in orbit. Very eccentric orbit, but orbit nonetheless. 
pretty cool. So this was completely automated, well, more or less automated, uh, using the scripts. Let's revert. Oh, I can revert. No, I wanted to revert. I guess it's because I had this uh, spacecraft staying here for a while. I guess we're going to have to place another craft here. This is with Valentina Kerman this time. And uh, what I want to do is let's actually try to see if we can create just an automatic launch uh, sequence where everything's done automatically. It's going to go straight up and then come back to Kerbin. So here the script is going to be a little bit longer. And here's actually the script that we're going to use that will do pretty much the same, uh, except that it's just going to go straight up. So we're, we're adding the same lines here. We're pitching 9090, uh, engaging autopilot, throttling up to one. Um, we're going to wait one second, print launch, launch the vessel using activate next stage. And then I'm going to create this variable called fuels. And this variable uh, basically takes the vessel information and specifically the information about the resources in the decoupling stage. And that's stage number one, the first stage is going to separate. Um, it's only looking at this first stage and only looks at liquid fuel. And this will actually return a number to us from, I believe, like 1400 something to zero when it's empty. And this is our first loop right here. This is one of the loops we're going to be using. While the fuel is more than one, we're going to basically print out the uh, amount of fuel that we have. And it's going to wait one second and then uh, reset the fuel amount to this value that it is now. So basically, every second is going to reset the fuel variable while the fuel is decreasing. And when the fuel reaches zero, it's going to go to the next part, which is booster separation. It's going to separate uh, the boosters, wait one second, engage the engine. And then I think we have one more stage, right? Yeah, we have one more stage. Uh, and then we're going to do wait for maybe, I guess, 30 seconds. Let's wait for like 30 seconds. Um, and do activate stage and then activate the last stage. This is the parachute. So this should uh, give us an automated launch. Oh, never mind. Made a mistake. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that. Look at them go. Beautiful. I think I made a little mistake in there. Uh, the mistake was this. I think the mistake was that I used the wrong stage here. It has to be stage three, not stage one. Uh, so we're going to change this and run this again. Nope, still the same. That's actually kind of cool though. Look at that. Look at them go. It's beautiful. Uh, all right. So what's the mistake here? Let's figure this out. Oh, apparently stage two worked. Uh, I guess it was maybe my mistake with staging here. Anyway, so it's telling you uh, the actual fuel left right here. And when this reaches zero, we're going to basically um, separate the stage and it's going to do the rest by itself. So uh, we're not turning roll here. We're just going straight up because I didn't change the directions. But basically, this is how you can totally learn Python by programming your own spacecraft. And I personally love this. Like my goal right now is to create a single script that will take me all the way to the moon, land there, and then come back to Kerbin, which is going to be quite a script to write, but we can definitely do it. It's not super complicated. Anyway, so here, let's see if we wrote the script correctly. It's going to run out of fuel. And there we go. Look at that. Beautifully executed. We even had uh, a very beautiful separation cross right there. Anyway, so um, that's pretty much it. Oh, actually, I don't think I'll be returning to Kerbin. Mostly because, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, um, unfortunately, we're going to be going really, really fast. So parachute will not be needed for this particular mission. But uh, it's, it is going to activate, though. So basically, that's kind of all I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We activated the parachute. That's awesome. Um, that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Let's see if we can actually separate ourselves. Can we? I'm doing this manually right now. Oh, I can't. The autopilot is actually taking over completely. And it's, it's keeping the capsule uh, on top of this. Anyway, so um, that's all I wanted to show you guys. If you want to actually learn more Python using uh, Kerbal Space Program and Oh, nice, we separate. Uh, and you're interested in the series that I'm thinking of making, please let me know in the comments below, uh, make any suggestions. Um, I do actually want to create this 
or turn this into an educational series where you get to learn programming itself as well. And because KRPC allows you to learn different languages, I think it actually has a lot of potential. Well, let's see uh, if we can return to Kerbin, because you know, what comes up must come down, right? Will it come down? Nope. Maybe not this time. Oh, look at that. We're coming down. We're coming back. Wow. Impressive. So maybe the parachute thing was a good idea after all. Except that maybe we're also moving a little bit too fast. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy landing. Anyway, well, let's see what happens here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. And let me know in the comments below what you think about this series. And also, if you have any other ideas, uh, because I do want to go back to Kerbal Space Program. I haven't done this in a while, and as you can see, I'm pretty bad at it now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. Poor Ker uh, Valentina Kerman. I didn't want to kill her. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.